My name is Markus Parkowski and I'm Professor for Interactive Systems and Internet of Things at the Degendorf Institute of Technology. The Internet of Things is the possibility to make machines communicate between each other in order for the human to benefit from this intermachine communication in a natural way. And that can be, for example, by speech, by virtual reality, by augmented reality, or by simply um, doing things that the user would like to um, happen. The Internet of Things, um, that's for example autonomous driving, um, the communication between all the systems in the car that uh, are required in order to make this work. But it's also in the medical domain um, where you find it in surgery or you find it in the caretaking for elderly people um, so that they can live longer in their homes. There are, for example, um, systems that allow you to um, communicate um, between several different people, like video conferencing systems, um, but there is also things like autonomous driving, which allows um, you to just relax and to get uh, nonetheless from A to B. And in order to implement autonomous driving, you have to have a lot of sensors in your car which are communicating between each other. And that's, for example, in of things. First of all, the communication between uh, humans and machines at the moment in terms of interactivity is very limited and we are aiming for further uh, ways of interacting. Uh, currently you are using a keyboard and a mouse to interact with a, with a computer that's not very natural. You could think about speech assistance, um, but you could also think about um, human, uh, humanoid robots um, that allow you to communicate with somebody who reacts to your own current state in such a way um, that you can easily communicate with that system. In five years, I'm imagining that public transportation is mostly autonomous working, but it also means um, that we have the possibility of asking the systems in a more natural way, for example, by speech assistance, without having all the difficulties um, that we are currently having with security issues. This is a very interesting question and let's have this question answered by an interactive system. In fact, interactive systems is my topic. The students help me to improve my abilities to interact with humans in a more natural and emotional way. In exchange, I teach them innovative interaction concepts and their implementation.